your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good morning, I'm Amanda Callahan. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. President Joe Biden ordered the U.S. military to shoot down another object yesterday. According to the Pentagon, the craft was flying over Michigan when U.S. fighter jets took it down. The Department of Defense says the object shot down Friday and Saturday did not resemble the suspected Chinese spy balloon. It is now the fourth object that's been shot down over the United States in the past week. Local residents came together in Aguam over the weekend to collect donations for Turkey and Syria earthquake victims. That collection taking place at Aguam High School. Several different types of donations were collected, including winter attire, tents, beds, blankets, baby formula, diapers, and more. They are looking for as many donations as possible to send to those in need. In West Springfield, crews respond to a fire at a multifamily house on Park Street yesterday afternoon. Took firefighters about an hour to put the fire out. Barkin Avenue to River Street was closed while crews were working on that scene. West Springfield Deputy Chief C. Dare Bartone says all residents made it out safely, but one family is now displaced. The cause of that fire is under investigation. All right, weather-wise today and really this entire week, spring-like pattern. It's going to continue. 40s near 50 today. Record warmth by Thursday, maybe Friday as well. And then maybe some heavy rain on Friday, especially in the morning with maybe some rumbles of thunder as a cold front moves on through. And then much cooler air starting Friday afternoon and going into this upcoming weekend. Of course, we're way behind on snow. Normal to date would be 33 inches. We have a third of that and there's no snow of any meaning anywhere, any accumulating snow in the forecast. Might there be a rain shower tonight or a snow shower with the front? It's possible. It's not going to mount to anything. And then it's back to sunshine tomorrow for your Valentine's Day. A little brisk. The wind will be a little strong out of the northwest. Gust to about 30. Temps in the mid-40s. Breezy but mild on Wednesday. We're into the low to mid-50s. Maybe a shower Wednesday morning with that front. But it's Thursday night or Friday that we could be dealing with some moderate to heavy rainfall, some strong gusty winds, maybe even a clap of thunder as a cold front moves through. Afternoon temps fall on Friday. We're down in the teens by Saturday morning. A chilly one on Saturday, but more February-like. It's the only day where temperatures will be closer to normal. We bounce right back by Sunday afternoon and on into Monday as well. All right, everybody, have a great day. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.